Hey guys, what's up? Squan17 here. Welcome to a Sun Game Sunday. Today, as you guys can see, I have some insurgency action for you guys, and what I'll be using is all sorts of weapons and classes, from the sniper to the machine gunner. So there's just gonna be a ton of different stuff in this video. It's just kind of a taste of um, all the different sides to this game. Most of the video is going to be PvP, but the last part is just a little taste of PvE, and I'll be honest with you guys, it's not a great clip, but I really just needed some last filler to reach the 10 minute mark, so I could talk to you guys about stuff for a decent amount of time, and I mean, it's not totally uninteresting, there's a part where, like this huge clump of bad guys pops up over a hill and I just take them all out in one clip, but... Other than that, I'll be honest, the last just couple minutes of this video are not going to be great, but the rest is pretty good if you ask me. It's a lot of just little short clips. Um, the max amount of kills I probably get in one life is probably going to be three, but mainly what you want to focus on this game anyway is going to be caps. So, uh, shout out to Captain Spitfire and Clud2600 for again accompanying me and playing this, and then a huge, like, gigantic shout out to the Epic Boss for gifting me this awesome game through a uh, humble bundle so I would never have discovered this game I never would have thought it fun and I never would have played it at all if he hadn't done me a huge favor and given me this absolutely free just out of the kindness of his heart so big shout out to him and um yeah so what this video is gonna be mainly is just kinda me talking about insurgency what I think of it some basic tactics what I think of classes individually and just kind of that stuff and then the rest of the video is probably just gonna be like some IRL update more related to me and my channel and playing with you guys rather than related to insurgency itself so anyway kind of moving into what I think of the classes I think snipers pretty good because um, usually if you hit like a vital organ with the um, sniper rifle it will be a one-shot kill but one thing I don't like about it is sometimes like you can accidentally like just aim down and maybe hit their hand and it might be lined up with their body but it might not kill them and then they'll get clean away and you won't have killed them so that's one thing I don't like about sniper is sometimes his shots are super ineffective like I've shot three bullets into a guy and he still hasn't died and that's just one of the things that makes this game realistic like if you shoot someone three times in the foot it's not gonna kill them whereas in COD that'll kill them in like one shot or whatever I mean actually not one shot this game is pretty realistic in the amount of shots it takes to kill someone um, which I'll get to talking about in a minute, but like in COD, if you shoot someone with a three-round burst in the foot, it'd be the same as shooting him in the chest with a three-round burst or whatever, and that might not be totally true, but basically what I'm trying to get across here is that it's really hard to kill without shooting a vital organ, and it just makes it all the more realistic, because like one shot with like an M9 pistol to the head, that'll, that'll take him out, so it's a much more realistic like simulation game, even more realistic than uh, Battlefield, I would say, and I really like that about this game, so um, Anyway, Sniper, I think, is pretty good um, when you shoot him in the right place, of course. His pistol is insane, at least when you're on the security forces, so if you're on Insurgents, I highly recommend you get rid of the Makarov and replace it with an M9 because it is really, really good. I love that gun so much, and especially with the silencer. I don't know, like, sometimes I have games where I get, like, twice as many pistol kills than I do, like, primary weapon kills, so it's really good. Definitely like the sniper. Um, the support or the machine gunner is really fun at medium to close range, but like long range, I don't like him all that much to be honest. I just kind of find that like I'm sprinting and I'm trying to shoot them and maybe they'll just snipe me and I don't really stand much of a chance. Um, but it is really fun uh, to play him when you're just like camping out a spot and camping in this game actually you're gonna see that I camp a lot of spots that is totally respectable you want to camp in this game it's not one of those games where you can just like Rambo around the map and be like wow I'm gonna kill you it's like you have to hide and you have to wait and you have to be tactical like it's not all about the 360 no scopes and stuff in fact I doubt anyone's ever done that in this game because it'd be ridiculously hard uh, props to you if you have but it's like, it's one of those games where like you actually have to camp to survive, otherwise like you just pop around a corner for half a second and you're gonna be dead if you didn't plan it out or whatever. So, um, Machine Gunner is really fun. You'll see there's some clips where I'm just kind of waiting right around the corner and I get three guys or something. There's one where I was playing one-handed and I was just running and with the other hand I was eating um, some tortilla chips and this guy started shooting me and I just wildly sprayed and I ended up getting two kills and then capturing a point and bringing back our entire team. So it's pretty crazy um, what you can do sometimes in this game and it's really fun. So I think honestly support and machine gunner are pretty OP. Like you can just, I don't know, because like their bullets are still like going to kill in like one or two shots if you hit them in the right spot. So I think that's pretty nice and um... Yeah, just as long as you can be the first one to fire, you'll usually win with a machine gun. Um, Scout on Insurgent is also really fun. His weapon's pretty good and accurate because um, 
it's one of these single shot ones and in a clip you've already seen it's basically I shoot this guy and that's uh, and he falls over and then he flies back up and falls over again and I put it in slow motion I don't know why that happened but that's the gun that's the scout class right there and I really like him honestly on insurgents because usually what I'll do is I'll get rid of everything except for the primary just add a cobra scope and then get some uh, heavy armor so I can still take the hits but then I still run really fast and I can just you can kind of snipe with him he's kind of like a scout sniper class because he has the one shot um, weapon that does pretty good if you ask me or pretty well whatever you want to say and um, probably my favorite class at the moment would be sniper or scout I'm not a huge fan of just the spray and pray in this game because it's incredibly easy because you can literally just run around corners I mean of course you'll die but like it's one of those games where if you get one hit on someone just by accident it could possibly kill them so it can be pretty crazy in that sense so I kind of like something it's a little more skill oriented like the scout or insurgent and um, not the scout or the insurgent <laughs> The scout of the sniper, sorry, I read that wrong. And, um, yeah, so kind of what I think of the game itself. I think it's a lot of fun. I got it for free through Humble Bundle, but even on Steam, I think it's like 15 bucks. I would highly recommend still getting it because, um, at first, it's gonna seem like the stupidest game you've ever played. I hated this game my first hour. You're gonna die a lot, literally, in my first hour of playing it. Um, I got one kill and I died probably 20 times and my one kill was accidentally shooting a teammate So there is team killing in this you can totally troll but you'll get your ass kicked in like two seconds So I would not recommend it, but um, it's gonna seem like the worst game when you first play it at least for me I hated this game at first, but as you go on you're gonna start to like it It's gonna be a lot of fun and it actually takes some skill to play which I really like so um, some basic tactics I'd start with and this is these could be totally wrong. Uh, it's your own opinion This is my opinion here, but um Take cover almost anywhere you go uh, As long as you're not like in spawn taking cover I, if you know what I mean Like when you start getting out of your spawn and you're getting closer to their side Just start taking cover crouch be ready to aim down your sights and shoot someone um so like if you're coming to a corner um, and you're getting really close to where you think the enemy is, just stop sprinting or even better, like aim down your sights and be ready for them to come around the corner. You have to like expect them to come to you and you just have to be prepared because if you aren't, they are and they're going to shoot you. Um, another thing that I like to do is if you're in a situation where they have some cover but they're shooting at you and you have a little bit of cover but it's like lying down, as soon as you start taking shots, if it makes sense, just press Z. And just camp it out for a bit and see if they come after you because the odds are if you just try and run away back around a corner That'll give them enough time to shoot you and you'll probably die now the most important tactic I use and I'd recommend and I mean you can argue they're more important ones, but I highly recommend that if you um, Aren't skyping or talking to anyone while playing this don't listen to any music or anything and just have the game audio playing This is really helpful because you can hear what's going on around you so like if they're, um, if they're, like, flanking up behind you, they'll talk to each other, they'll be like, moving to Charlie, whatever. You can hear what's happening, and you can know when they're coming, and you can also hear when bullets are fired at you. Like, I suck at this game if I try and, like, listen to some music while I'm playing it. So I highly recommend, uh, you listen to music while playing, or not. <laughs> I highly recommend you don't listen to music, what am I saying? Um, just have, like, the, uh, volume turned up sort of high, not too loud, but just so you can hear what's going on around you, because that will save you a ton of time and deaths and get you a lot of kills at least it has for me so kind of moving off of insurgency what i've been up to um last night i babysat until 12 30 and then i woke up at 7 30 to go to work and so i'm really tired right now i'm also coming down with a cold so i might be totally spacey in fact i am i'm like saying the opposite thing i'm like saying one thing and i'm like oh but don't do that do this and i'm like totally confusing you guys possibly that is because i'm tired and i've been coming down this cold all week and it's finally gotten to me but the good thing about all that is I made a ton of money and got a whole lot closer um, to my new PC so I made like a fair amount of money so I worked like 10 hours and I, I got a lot out of it and um, I'm getting a whole lot closer to that PC and hopefully I'll get it sometime around the beginning of the next year so games I've been playing lately we're just gonna wrap up here I've been playing some Terraria I beat the brain of Cthulhu and I raided the dungeon. I have it all recorded for you guys, and that'll probably be the next some game Sunday. Otherwise, uh, nothing much, really. This week's wristband giveaway is going to be to the pack leader Wolf. Uh, just send me your address or whatever, and I'll get it off to you as soon as I can. And, um, yeah, I really hope you guys all enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe for more. Follow me on Twitter at Quan Games. Like the Facebook page, Quan Games. Join the Steam group, Quan Clan, for updates when I'm recording and to know when I upload the video at its soonest and stuff like that and um yeah without further ado i really hope you enjoyed have a great week ahead of you and um yeah i'll see you guys later